In this discussion, you can see how to create custom method and this method we will use in button click event. Let's see how it works. And in case you missed previous discussion about record set related operations, let's say mapped, sorted and filtered, please check link is given in description. And one more thing is all ORM method covered in previous discussions. So now we are moving to the custom method. So this is the only one way like we can create custom method in particular model. I'm just showing you only particular one model. You can use any model if you want. I'm going to in editor. Here you can see we have this cool student model. And if I am going to inform you of the student profile here, you can see here like uh, there is no any custom buttons also available. So I'm going to add here one more custom method. Here we have to use something like this, like def, then after custom button method, something like this. And we are using, uh, and by default it's a self parameter. And this self parameter is instance of this model. And uh, no need to add any extra parameter here something like this like parameter para1 then after value something like this we don't need to add any extra parameters this is this one is only enough here i'm not adding any operations part like insert update delete or anything right now i'm just adding one print statement only for the demo purpose like once we will add one custom custom button in front and side and once we will click that button it will print this statement from terminal so for that one we are using this print statement other like uh, no any other operations we are performing at this moment later we will see how to do hello this is custom button method called by you something like this and uh, this method we have to register in form you for this school student profile so for that we have to go to in views part and you can see here like okay yeah this is the form you and this is our records right now and what we are doing here is like we will add here button like button then after we have to re we have to add three parameters here for the button like name then after string and then after type so this three parameter we must have to add in terms of create any button the name is like you can add here any action or then after the custom method but right now we are focused only for the custom method so in this name parameter, we have to use this custom method. And uh, here we have to use like something like this custom button method. And here this string is for GUI purpose only. There is no any extra use like custom button click me. Something like this. And yes, the type is very important. Like there are many types is available for this button like action then after object but so here we have to add object and whenever you are dealing with the custom method or any other methods then we must have to use the type equal to budget there is a many types available but right now we are focused on the object type and the custom method this one so here we added here custom method for the student profile and in view part we added one custom button which name is custom button click me and this button club with the custom method this one and once the user click to this button it will call this method and it will print this print statement in terminal let's see how it works i'm going to in terminal and here i am restart the service plus i will upgrade the module because i changed here in 
GUI part and I'm going to in front end side and refresh the patch so you can see here this custom button is available here so once I will click here so the thing is you see the pop-up message this one date of birth this is a mandatory field here you can see this red field but right now it's not filled properly so I'm going to here and add any birth of that and click here and once I will click here you can see it's successfully called and if you see here in terminal you can see this hello this is custom button method called by you so you can see this method called so like this way you can add your custom method and register into the button and uh, there is no any limitations to add uh, buttons but yeah based on your requirement you can add buttons in form view side as well as in tree view also but right now we are focusing about on the custom method this one and one more thing is for this self one like uh, whenever you print this self statement it always a record set like click and go to terminal and you can see here like this school student profile like 16th student profile is visible and for the double check you can see here the 16th ID is 16 so something like this way you can add your custom method you can call that custom method using the button something like this way and uh, yeah one more thing is you can also perform any actions like you can also add the add any fields from this click event and let me show you how we will do so here using this record set we are trying to update one field which is total underscore fees like let's say self dot total underscore fees equal to we are right now we are using a random function like random then after rand int and uh, like the random number will generate like from 1 to 1000 and it will store here whenever you call this method so I'm restart the service and go to front end side and here you can see total fees is right now zero let me click this one so you can see it's having a 241 again 846 352 so something like this way you can do any operations and yeah the you have also questions like is it also possible to call any other methods also yes it is possible let's say we have this custom method and you can see here we have the print statement also so what we have to do is like we have to use something like this self then after custom underscore method that's it and uh, restart the service and go to here in browser no need to refresh the page only the thing is we need to click this button okay we clicked and you can see here like hello this is custom method uh, and this is a record set and you can see here like student name like you can see here the student name but birth, birth of that and school name is print So something like this way you can do any kind of operations using the click event. And yeah, you can also create something like this, like def, then after custom, new method, and you have to add any parameter, let's say total fees, and here you are using like total underscore fees equal to total fees something like this if you want to do then it is also possible we will remove something like this
here we will use self dot this custom new method and simply we will add here this random function restart the service restart is mandatory because we changed in python side and uh, no need to upgrade the module because we didn't add anything in gui part so i'm just clicking to this button and go to here in backend side you can see something like this and uh, one more thing is like it's also changed like 360 290 775 and after 23 something like this it's working so i hope you understood like how to add custom method like this is custom method and how to add custom method in button click event so we simply we have to do is we have to create one button then after here we have to use in name parameter as a method name then after string parameter we have to pass the buttons label name here and type always should be an object if you forgot type equal to object then it it's having issue like it won't be called this method one more thing is we will try to raise one error we registered successfully here this method also this method is available but somehow we changed here like methods i just added extra s here and you can see here only method so i'm restart the service right now and go to in front end side and once i will click here you can see it will raise the error see and you can see here like this cool dot student profile don't have any kind of attribute something like this custom button method and uh, here we are just simply remove this ash and restart the service go to browser and once i will click here you can see it will so like this way it's working and uh, don't worry about this code i already added in github you can see the github link in description also for the reference purpose and in case you have any doubt or query please comment below and see you in next session